All right, so before you can start building your actual base, your very first base in Subnautica, there is one key item that you are going to need. So the tool that you're going to need is going to be the Habitat Builder, and you can find the Habitat Builder by going into your Fabricator, going to Personal, going into Tools, and then the Habitat Builder is right here. You'll have the recipe for the Habitat Builder, like by default. In Below Zero, you have to go and look for the uh, fragment for the Habitat Builder, but in this game, in Subnautica 1, you just already have it. So you'll just need to go and get a computer chip, wiring kit, and a battery. And the Habitat Builder is going to allow you to build the compartments to make your actual base. Now, once you have your Habitat Builder and you open it up, your menu is not going to look like mine, assuming that you're at the start of the game, or maybe even the middle. Unless you've unlocked everything, your menu is not gonna look like this. By default, the only compartments that you can get that you'll be able to build on your base by default is going to be the foundation, these compartments right here, the first four, and then you got the two glass compartments and this vertical clip, this vertical connector, and then you got the hatch and then the window. And then I believe that's all you'll get at the start of the game. So that's the only thing that you're going to be able to see. So the everything on this top row, the glass, L glass compartment, vertical connector, hatch and the window that's the only thing that you get at the very start when it comes to exterior modules all you're going to have available is going to be the solar panel solar panel and this air pump and the interior pieces you're going to have the ladder by default uh and that's about it honestly and then you're going to the interior modules you're going to see the fabricator the radio medical fabricator the lockers the battery charger power cell charger and you're going to have to go and find the fragment for those aquarium you'll have that by default modification station you'll need to find the fragment for that you'll have these regular plant pots and then the grow bed you'll have to go and find the fragment for as well and then that's a modded item so don't worry about that and then you got miscellaneous most of the stuff you'll have to go out and scan so yeah those are all the things that you're gonna have available to use at the very start so once you find a good spot to build your base let's say i'm in this nice little open area right here all you're gonna do is you're going to select a compartment that you want to build so let's say i just want to do an uh, uh, the eye compartment and you can put it down but you can't put it up too high because you know like the, the little the support beams can't reach all the way down there so there's only a certain height you're going to be able to start your base at but you can always build up and you know you can make your base as big as you want with the power vertical connectors and other things you don't need the foundations to actually put, like to put your stuff on but it does make stuff look a little neater and if you build your foundation yeah it'll get rid of the support beams that spawn out of the compartments and it'll have the, its own makes it look a little neater in the long run so foundations are also good for that now, assuming that you're at the start of the game, you know, you're just starting out on your base and whatnot, because you're not going to have the multi-purpose room, yeah, because you're going to have these super, you're just going to have a whole bunch of hallways if you use just straight eye compartments. So what you're going to want to do is maybe use the different types of compartments, like the X compartment, and you can have these mini rooms, you know, you have a place to the left, right, and in the middle, if you just want to have a substitute until you get the multi-purpose room, because once you get the multi-purpose room, that's going to change the entire life of your base, because it's going to give you a lot more room to put stuff in and you know move around and whatnot but until you get the multi-purpose room you're just going to want to use the x and t compartments mainly for your storage and to make your bigger rooms and whatnot to put stuff in to build your base you just need to make sure you have your habitat builder at the very start of the game and once you get the habitat builder you just need to gather some resources and then you can build the compartments but you do need to watch out for the uh for the whole integrity of your base because if it gets too low like if it goes into the negative numbers then your base will start to flood so just keep that in mind this video is going to be a little bit shorter because i just wanted to show like how like the physical process of how you're actually going to like literally build the base which is going to be by grabbing your habitat builder making the habitat builder from the found from the foundation from the fabricator and then using it to build the compartments and whatnot on your actual base now if you want a more in-depth guide on base building and whatnot i have other videos on base building specifically for example like how not how uh what you want to put on your base like what what compartments you should put on your base depending on what stage of the game you're at. So if you're at the beginning game, you know, what you should have in your base during that time, middle of the game and late game. I have a video on like the best places to build your base, a whole bunch of base guide, base building guides for y'all if y'all want to check those out. But yeah, that is about all I have for y'all. I hope this was helpful for y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.